Right now is the prime time to go on a tropical vacation. So in this video, I'm sharing with you some perfect options to take with you on a tropical vacation. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, this is like the perfect time to take a tropical beach vacation. I personally probably won't be taking any vacations anytime soon just because of my life situation, but I surely wish I was. <laughs> So typically, if we were to go on a tropical vacation, it would definitely be around this time. And I know that Memorial Day is coming up and I know a lot of you all will be traveling for Memorial Day. I know the popular spots are places in the Caribbean, places in Mexico. So all of these fragrances will work for y'all. So if you like any of the fragrances that I'm about to share with you, definitely think of me when you spray it on your beach vacation. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into the fragrances. So I've done one of these videos before. I did not recently watch it, but I know there may be some repeats in this video, but I'll definitely still link my previous video that I've done like this before. So for this particular video, what I did was think about like if I'm going on vacation, what would I realistically take with me? What would be my top fragrances that I wanted to take with me? I was going to try to limit this video to 10, but I think I have 15, so sorry, or maybe you're welcome depending on how you look at it. So let's go ahead and get into them. So the first one that I have here is from the House of Oud and this is Keep Glazed. So I picked this fragrance up, I think last summer, but I have loved it since I got it. So this fragrance to me smells like mango, very fresh, ripe mango, but not overly ripe. It's not an overly sweet fragrance. But then I also smell what smells like guava and I believe there is a lemon note in here as well. If it's not lemon, then it's lime. It's something that's giving it a little bit of zest, a little bit of brightness besides from that mango and guava. But then it also kind of sits on a heavier base. I'm not sure exactly what the base is in this fragrance, but to me it smells like a little bit of a woody base. And I think that this makes this fragrance good for year round, honestly, but I love it for hot weather. And I could definitely see myself taking this with me to somewhere in the Caribbean. If I were going on vacation, I would probably wear this one at night because it is one of my heavier choices, but it's still not too heavy. Like where I live is Florida. We have very similar weather to a lot of places in the Caribbean. And a lot of times it's actually hotter here and more humid here than it would be in the tropics. So with that being said, I definitely do wear this during the daytime and I never think it's overpowering, but out of the list that I'm gonna share with you, I think this is one of the ones that I think would work well for the evening because it is it does have a little bit of that woody base that I think makes it more nighttime appropriate than some of the other fragrances I'm sharing. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, this is Keep Glaze from the House of Oud. The next fragrance that I have here is from Gucci and this is A Chant for the Nymph. So this fragrance is all about the yellow florals and then those yellow florals sit, sit on top of a vanilla base. But this is not necessarily a super sweet fragrance. It's not a very dense fragrance. It is quite floral, quite elegant. And I could see myself wearing this to a nice luxurious resort daytime wear. I think this smells tropical, but in a very sophisticated way. I could see someone who is really wealthy taking this on vacation with them because it just gives off that air of, I'm not trying too hard, but I know you smell me. And it gives off that air of elegance and just like money vibes in a tropical sense. <laughs> and I love this fragrance. I have not had the opportunity to wear it that much yet because I've only had it for a couple months and I have been saving it for warmer weather. Um, but I definitely think this is a stunner. And I think it's different when you compare it to a lot of the typical fragrances that we all talk about when we're talking about beach vacation scents. So again, that is Gucci, a chant for the nymph. Next up, I have a more affordable option. And I wanna say that I don't have that many affordable options in this video. I do have a few, but I was just really trying to be honest on what I would take with me if I was going on vacation like right now. <laughs> 
So, you know, with that being said, I want it to be true to that. So the fragrance that I have here is from Estee Lauder and this is Bronze Goddess. My bottle is super old and if you're familiar with Bronze Goddess, then you may know that they switch up the bottles quite regularly. Mine is an Eau Fresh skin scent and I did find that they still have the Eau Fresh skin scent in a different bottle. So I will definitely link it down for you guys below. But this fragrance I've had forever. And I think I've probably taken it like on every beach vacation I've gone to. If not everyone, then almost everyone. This is one that I like to wear at the pool. So this, every time I smell this now, it reminds me of all the tropical vacations that I've gone on. And I know a lot of you love to go on these extravagant vacations to Europe and whatever, wherever. I just wanna be on the beach, y'all. I just wanna be at a nice resort, getting drinks, getting food, chilling out, listening to music, and so, I have been on a lot of those types of vacations and I'm not tired of them yet. Like I'm still trying to be there. <laughs> so now every time I smell this fragrance, that's what it makes me think of. Just happy times, just chilling at the pool. This is one that I like to spray over my sunscreen. I take it with me to the pool and just get my whole life out there. So I definitely recommend this if you have not smelled it. I didn't even talk about how it smelled. I feel like this is so popular, but this to me smells like tiare flower and coconut. It definitely gives off that sunscreen type smell, um, but I think it's still very fun. It's very playful without being too juvenile or anything like that. And it just smells like summertime in my opinion. So again, that is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. The next fragrance that I have is from Zerzhoff and this is Dolce Amalfi. I mean, I feel like y'all knew it. this would be in the video. I don't know, maybe you didn't, but I love this fragrance. It is sweet and spicy. It reminds me of Juicy Fruit Gum from back in the day and apparently they do still sell it, but I haven't smelled it in years. But as soon as I smelled this fragrance, that's immediately what I thought of. So think of like a sweet tropical fruit scent that is quite dense, but then you throw in some unexpected spices like cloves and possibly cinnamon or nutmeg. Yeah, throw in some spices like that. Sounds very weird. This is not a safe blind buy, but it works so well. And I feel like this is one that a lot of people reserve for colder weather because it is quite dense and quite sweet. But a lot of people also like to wear it in hot weather. And I'm one of those people that likes to wear this in the warm weather. And I would definitely take this on vacation with me if I were going somewhere. So if I were going on vacation, I think I would use this like if I'm gonna be going out shopping or doing something that's not like me getting too sweaty and too hot. Like I wouldn't take this on like an ATV ride or something like that or going hiking or, but if I was just going to visit some historical sites where I was gonna be walking around and sightseeing, I think this would be perfect. It is so gorgeous and it's so unique. Like you're not gonna smell anybody that smells like you. This is delicious smelling. Highly, highly recommend. And I know I said it's not a safe blind buy, but honestly, y'all, no, it's not a safe blind buy. I was gonna say, if you can find a small bottle, just get it. <laughs> but it's not a safe blind buy. But I feel like if me and you have very similar fragrance taste, if we love a lot of the same things, and you see this small bottle for less than $100, just get it, sis. Just get it, okay? If I see it, I'll link it down below. Sometimes I can't find the small bottle, but if I do find it, I will definitely link it for you all. Again, that is Dolce Amalfi from Zerzhoff. The next fragrance I have is from Atelier Colognes, and this is Pacific Lime. Now, I know they have removed this brand from the United States, like they're no longer selling it retail, but if I can find it, I will definitely link it for you all. It just got removed like a couple months ago, so I'm sure I'll be able to find it somewhere, um, but I'll link it for you all if I do. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn this in a long time. It smells so good. So this is a sweet lime and coconut scent. So if you've ever smelled Virgin Island water from Creed, this does not smell the same, but I bought Virgin Island water around the same time as I purchased this. And to me, this was a much better version of Virgin Island Water. Don't get me, mad at me, y'all. Don't get mad at me because I know Virgin Island Water has some fans out there. But honestly, I feel like this is just better. Like this is just so refreshing smelling. It, it gives off that coconut watery vibe mixed with the lime. Whenever I smell this, I just think about like margaritas. It doesn't smell like a margarita, but this is what it reminds me of when I smell it. And I happen to love margaritas. So yeah, I definitely, if I was going to Mexico, like <sighs> I wish I was going to Mexico, y'all. <laughs> 
but this is definitely a must try if you like sweet citrus scents again this is specific line from atelier colognes so this next fragrance is for those of you who are going somewhere super exclusive maybe you're not going to the caribbean but you're going somewhere else tropical very exclusive very luxurious this fragrance is for you this is from dior and it is eden rock so this fragrance was inspired by the eden rock hotel which i think is in the south of france hopefully i'm remembering that correctly but it's a very bougie hotel for the very wealthy and this fragrance was made for that hotel they do sell it there and it is released to everybody though but it is sold in that hotel and it was inspired by that hotel so it smells so good it smells like wealth in the tropics <laughs> so to me this smells like an aquatic um, almost mineral type airy scent it does have some coconut in here but to me the coconut just gives it a bit of a backbone but really this is more of an aquatic mineral salty type scent it definitely has some florals in here as well but to me this is not a floral scent this is one that actually had to grow on me when I first smelled it, I was not impressed. It does not perform the best. It does last decently, but it doesn't perform the best. But the more I wore this, the more I couldn't get enough of this. And I could definitely see myself taking this on vacation with me. I could imagine if I was going to have a spa day, this would be the fragrance I would be wearing, honey. Like this, it's so good. This is so good. It just transports me to a place of relaxation on a beach. I can see the, the waves and laying out in the sun and just being catered to so again that is eden rock from dior so the next fragrance that i have is from fragrance dubois and this is santal complete so this fragrance is a creamy sandalwood tropical floral scent it is sweet it's creamy it's i don't want to say dense but it definitely has some substance to it this is one that i think of as like a sexy tropical scent not overly sexy not trying too hard but just like effortlessly sexy very beautiful I definitely think this could be one that I could wear out on a date night on vacation you can wear it during the day as well but I could see myself wearing this on a date night because there's just something very sensual and soft and inviting about this fragrance and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have a video talking all about this fragrance that I will link for you, but I will go ahead and say that if you like beast mode fragrances, this is not one of them. And I know when you're spending this kind of money on a fragrance, you want people to smell it on you, right? You want everybody to smell it on you. I'm just gonna say this is not the case with this fragrance, but people will smell it on you. It's, but it's not going to like announce your presence before you walk in or anything like that. But if you're on a date and y'all are sitting close, they're definitely going to smell it on you. They're definitely going to compliment you on it. They're definitely going to want to nuzzle all up in the neck to get more of it. Like, yes, I love it. So again, this is Santal Complete from Fragrance Dubois. So the next fragrance that I have to share with you is from House of Siage, and this is Mickey Mouse. So this fragrance is beautiful. It smells like to me like a coconut milk or coconut, I don't know, like a milky coconut scent. But then you also have like some tropical florals and tropical fruits is what it smells like to me. And it also smells like there may be something woody like possibly sandalwood in this fragrance. It's very, very beautiful, y'all. I love this. It does still smell fun and playful just like the bottle. But don't be deterred by this bottle because if you look at this bottle, you may think this is a juvenile scent. It is absolutely not. This is for a grown woman or a man. This is not for the kids, okay? This is a very beautiful but playful and sophisticated scent. And I think this could work for any type of beach vacation. It's just the creamiest like coconut scent in my opinion. I would probably more so wear this during the daytime. But honestly, if I was going to have like a beach date or an outdoor date night, I could see myself wearing this as well. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. So again, that is Mickey Mouse from the House of Siage. The next fragrance that I have is from Dolce & Gabbana, and this is Dolce Garden. So this fragrance is just stunning, y'all. It is stunning. Now, when I smell this fragrance, in my opinion, it does not match the notes that you'll be seeing here, and it also doesn't match the name of the fragrance. So to me, this smells like a tropical fruit bowl alongside some coconut, a very creamy coconut. 
and some tropical florals in the background. It's really gorgeous. It is definitely unique. And I think it's perfect for a tropical vacation. Of course, now I will be wearing this like anytime. All of these fragrances, y'all, I still wear. I don't think they're only reserved for tropical vacations. None of these. But I think in particular, this one is really versatile because it doesn't smell like too beachy or anything like that. But when you smell it or when I smell it, I definitely get tropical vibes. Like I love the smell of this. So it is a little bit dense and sweet. So I know a lot of people think it can be a little bit too much for hot weather, but I personally don't. Like I feel like I can wear this in the summertime without any issues. And especially if you're going somewhere tropical, usually there's a breeze. So I think you'll be good with this. Maybe keep it light handed or you could wear it at night. I definitely think it would work at night as well. So again, that is Dolce Garden from Dolce & Gabbana. Next up is from Armani Privé, and this is Blue Turquoise. I love the bottles on these, y'all. So beautiful. But anyway, this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this one is definitely unisex. So if you are a man watching this video and you're still watching, like, you can wear this too. <laughs> but to me, this smells like a salty vanilla with some woodiness and a little bit of an incense -y vibe but don't let the incense fool you in in this it doesn't smell like an incense fragrance but i definitely can smell the incense in it to me what's what's overtaking all of it is the salty vanilla and then those other elements like the woods and the incense and i believe there's black pepper in this as well they just kind of add to the depth and personality of this fragrance to me this is a very sophisticated tropical type scent so definitely good for date nights, for doing like daytime activities. And also you could just like wear this to the beach. So I feel like if I was taking like one fragrance with me and I wanted it to do like everything the entire time for me, this would be one that I could see in pretty much every beachy type of situation. It's just that good. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I actually do go on vacations, I don't take all these fragrances, y'all. I usually take two fragrances. It depends on how long I'm going to be there. But say if I'm taking like a four day trip, then I'll usually take two fragrances, one for daytime, one for night. And then I may throw in a third like bronze goddess or something just to wear at the pool or maybe like a body spray to wear at the pool. But I usually take two and I do that on purpose because I want to associate those scents with that trip. Hopefully that makes sense. So I feel like if I was going somewhere, if I only wanted to take one fragrance, this could be one that I could take and just like have it remind me of that destination every time I smell it. But anyway, again, this is blue turquoise. The next fragrance I have is from Mancera and this is Holidays. So if you like that sunscreen type of fragrance, this is the one you should get like this is the one you should get this to me is like the mama or the daddy of the sunscreen scents. not saying it's like the first one but this one is the most dense it is the most powerful one that i've smelled in my opinion so it has that sweet coconut you do have some florals in his in here as well that add to the sweetness and elevate the scent but overall it is like a dense thick coconutty type fragrance it's beautiful I definitely would probably save this for nighttime if I was actually taking on vacation because it can be a bit heavy. And I know for some people, sunscreen type scents can kind of turn into bug, bug spray type scents. So if that is you, then this is probably not for you. I'm just going to say that because I don't usually get bug spray vibes from sunscreen scents. But there is one time that I have smelled this and it reminded me of bug spray. I'm just not going to lie. Like it did, but I love it. <laughs> Maybe I like the smell of bug spray too. Who knows? But... <laughs> It's really beautiful and I think it will work well on vacation. It's fun, it's playful, but it's still like very present. So if you like to have beast mode fragrances, this to me is kind of the version of a beast mode sunscreen type scent. So again, this is Holidays from Mancera. The next fragrance I have is from House of Siage and this is Haute Bijou. Now I've only had this for a couple months. I've only actually worn it one time, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is a fruity floral scent. To me, the fruits are definitely more prominent than the florals. And the most prominent fruit in this to me is mango, but I can definitely smell other fruits mingled in with that. But the mango to me is what stands out the most. And it's just really beautiful. It's sweet, but it's still airy. It's not too dense and heavy. Perfect for daytime wear. This one is one that I could see myself wearing for any type of daytime activity on vacation so out to lunch 
even just going to the beach or the pool, going out in the city or exploring or anything like that. This is just really beautiful and it's very likable as well. So if you're traveling with people that are not like, they don't really like fragrance or they're easily offended by fragrance, I think you could really easily get away with this one because I feel like it will just appeal to a lot of people. Um, and even though I think it's a mass appealing scent, it's not generic by any means. It's super gorgeous. So again, this is Haute's Bijou by House of Siage. So this next fragrance almost didn't make this video because honestly, I feel like I have talked about it so much. And I took a break from talking about it because, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's played out, but so many people know about it that I'm not sure y'all want to still hear about it. But I had to be true to myself. If I was going on vacation, this is one that I would definitely consider. So this is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I know it's hard to see the white bottle with my lights, but yeah, there it is. So this fragrance is beautiful. So this one is definitely a more sophisticated, well-blended coconut floral scent. To me, this doesn't scream coconut, but you can definitely smell it. It just doesn't scream it. To me, this definitely has like a solar vibe to it. That's hard to explain. But when you smell it, you just know, like it's very uplifted, smells very sophisticated, definitely luxurious. This is one of the more popular scents. So I know like a lot of people wear this, but I don't think that should stop you if you love it. Like a last vacation that I took like a long time ago, <laughs> I took this um, with me. So yeah, I still love this fragrance and I definitely think it is a summer staple, but especially for a tropical vacation, I mean, it just makes you feel very luxurious, but also in theme with the whole tropical thing going on. So <laughs> again, this is Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. The next fragrance is another one that I have from Tom Ford, and this is Soleil Brulant. Hopefully y'all can see that, but this fragrance is actually really beautiful in my opinion. Definitely not for everybody. This one is one that you have to smell on your skin. This one is a thick, dense, sweet smelling scent. Honey is a predominant note in this fragrance, but when you think about honey, don't think about a lightweight honey like Marc Jacobs honey or anything like that. No, this is thick, dripping, dark honey. In my opinion, it also smells like there is some hay in this fragrance. There is not, but whenever I smell it, that's what it reminds me of, like spicy honey hay. Sounds weird and gross, but smells so beautiful to me. And this wears very beautifully on the skin. Now, this is a thicker, denser smelling fragrance. I would not suggest wearing this on the hottest of days. Like you will probably give yourself a headache because it could be a lot. But nighttime, oh, come on, come on. And it's so unique smelling. They do have a body oil of this that just came out. I don't think it's available everywhere yet, but if I find it, I will definitely link it down below for you all. I'm interested to try that because the body oils are usually lighter on fragrance than the actual fragrance. And so I'm interested to see if that would work well for like beach during the day. It doesn't necessarily, like this fragrance doesn't scream beach to me. However, there is something very warm about it that gives me those beach vibes. Hopefully it makes sense. Gives me those tropical type, type vibes, even though I don't think this necessarily smells tropical. Um, I would love to wear this on vacation though. So I definitely would take it with me. And if you guys have tried the oil, let me know what you think of it down below, because I'm thinking that the oil would be great to wear like out during the day with no fragrance on top and just have the oil. Um, but of course, you can also layer it with the fragrance too for nighttime. So again, that is Soleil Brulant from Tom Ford. And then the very last fragrance that I have here is from Guerlain, and this is Coconut Fizz. This is a part of their Aqua Allegoria line. And so these are lighter weight fragrances, and I really love this one. To me, this smells like coconut water. It's very clean, very refreshing smelling. When I say clean, though, I don't mean like laundry clean or anything like that. Just very... It's a very clean smell. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, it smells like coconut water in my opinion. Like how could you not want to take this on vacation? It's just really beautiful. It's one that I feel like I would never get tired of. I would mainly only wear this for the daytime, but I feel like I could wear it anywhere for the daytime. So whether that's to the beach, whether that's to the pool, whether that's going out on an excursion, like a whatever hiking whatever i could wear this and it would never feel like too much 
but you can smell it. It's not like it's a skin scent. You could definitely smell this fragrance and it lasts decently well for the type of fragrance that it is. But I just feel like it would never be too much and it would just always smell gorgeous and delicious. So again, that is Coconut Fizz from Guerlain. So that was a lot of fragrances, y'all. A lot of fragrances, but I haven't been on vacation in a long time. So as soon as I started looking at vacation fragrances, I just kept pulling them, but they're all great. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments below if you have tried any of these fragrances and what do you think of them. Also, if you have a vacation planned and you're going somewhere tropical and hot, I'm jealous, number one, but also number two, let us know what you plan on taking with you down below. Like. Some of y'all take like 20 fragrances, but if you only plan on taking like one or two, let us know those down below or your like your top two picks for taking on vacation. We want to know. Please share. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. Also, make sure you have your notification bell on so that you don't miss a video from me. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then you should be, honey. Please go ahead and do that now. Connect with me over there. DM me or just silently watch my page. Like, it's all good. Like, come over there and connect with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.